Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today I want to talk about when dealing with a, you know, a borrowed guild. And there are sundryous borrowed guilds out there. Some of them are their own business, some of them happen to belong to boundaries, you know. And the one I have is Visa. Now I know there are sundries other businesses out there. I mean, you have MasterCard or Overling Sheet. You have Discovery or Seek. You have American Express or we'll say Vinlander Fast. You have Capital One or Headstead, you know, One. Or Visa, whatever the English word for that would be. And those are the well-known ones. And then every boundary, you know, has their own borrowed guild too. But they all seem to work the same way. They all are in the, we'll call it the gal borrowing business. But unlike a loan, which is loans are you borrow it up and you have to yield it back. It has to be worked. But it always comes down to something like this when you're dealing with them. It'll be like something like this. Oh, I think... Whoa, sorry. Whoa! Fuck. Well, I think that I'm not going to... Yes. What seems to be your bind? Alright, I knew that I borrowed something for... $35. Okay, we'll say 36 because there was a sales toll on it. But then I was always under the belief that, you know, you were going to make it higher than it was. No. No, we don't do that. We let you loan it, you know, we let you borrow it back to us each month until you fully yielded back what you owed on it or as far as or getting it back to where you didn't owe nothing on it yeah that was my understanding you know and hey do the things you say in your showings are they true like you know like I'll get awards for you know, yielding all of my gout back that I borrowed out and being a good seller. Well, the only gift you're going to get from us is having the, I guess you could say, the gift of borrowing gout from us again when you yield it all back. Well, that's not cool because you always hear Discovery or Seek say something cool. You know, you always hear about Capital One or Headstead One saying some kind of cool gift. You always hear about, you know, MasterCard or Overling Sheet talking about cool things you can get. What do you, you don't give me any cool shit. Um, the cool shit you get is borrowing our gouge and yielding it back. We give you little, you know, we'll give you, we'll probably take, you know, some of it off you know give you some back to you as like our gift to you for being a trusted buyer and yielding back what you borrowed out yeah that's what I kinda of thought too you know yeah well at least I don't ha oh well I'm only answerable for yielding it back if I borrowed it out Geez, tell me what happens if I can't yield it back or chose not to yield it back. Well, we give you a bad borrowing reckoning, which would make other boundaries, other loan guilds, and other borrow guilds not to work with you because they can't trust you to yield back what they borrowed out. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know. That's what I thought. I'm talking about if I have a hard time yielding it back. Oh well, we work with folks. If, they have, if they're truly having a hard time yielding back what they borrowed, we work with them, you know. 
I know a lot of folks like to say a lot of things about us and say, oh, we don't, we don't have yield, to, we don't have a yield, we don't have a, we don't have a yield time, you know, we don't help. Yeah, we do, but only to those that truly are in some kind of income bind. And there are sundryous folks out there to take the upside on us too. Uh, you wouldn't like law work anyone if you thought, yeah, we thought that we, we thought they did something unlawful, then we would. But you always borrow back what you yield out. Yeah, which is mostly nothing because I never borrowed anything from you, so I never to yield anything back. Now I know some of you folks out there are going to probably uh, think, how can you go through, how can you do that? Well, you just don't, you just don't work it. So it can be done. Now, I know that when you don't borrow anything out, or don't take, you know, it doesn't really give them a borrowing reckoning with you, you know. So they really don't know how how you how good you are at yielding back I guess they kinda look at your utilities or your tools if you're good at yielding back what you owe to them each month or I guess they look at other things like home loans or you know Wayne or Larley loans if you do have that but if it belongs to a boundary they probably already have the, know the answer to that but at the end of the day if you don't borrow anything out then you don't have a borrowing yesteryear with them. I mean, you do have a reckoning with them, but you don't have no borrowing reckoning with them. Nothing that they can, you know, for themselves. Some folks keep it around for a need. Other folks, you know, have a love and hate kinship with borrowed guilds. And others, under the belief, they yield back what they owe and they'll never work it ever again. Well, whatever. Anyway, if you like this film, then follow me over here at the Jordan Long Show. Watch the other film I made yesterday over here. <coughs> Number, like, and share this film if anyone you like it. I, Jordan Long, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Farewell.